Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. This colorful text animation is very easy to create and it is done only using expressions and property links in After Effects. So let's see how to create this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this one main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick 30 seconds. Just click on OK. Now we are going to create another composition for our text. So let's go to composition, new comp and let's call this one text. Rest of the things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now let's open up the text comp and let's create our text. So select the text tool. Now for this example, I'm using this font called Chuck. Now it's completely up to you, you can use whatever font you want. So let's type playful and I'm going to type play and you can see that it's quite thick because on thick fonts the effect looks much better. So we have this. Now I'm going to select this layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate this and let's type our second text. So I'm going to type F U double L and let's align them. So let's place this over here. Now in order to align them, you can use this align panel. So let's move them to the center. Let's select this one and let's align it over here as well. Now we have both the text and let's select the play and I'm going to just move it to the top little bit. So using the arrow keys, you can just do it so that we have this little bit gap between them, something like that. So here we have our text and I know we have single L in playful, but just for the symmetry, I'm going to add double L. So once you're done with this, we can add an null object to control this. So for that, you can right click, go to new and let's add a null object. After that, we can select both of these layers and we can just parent it to the null object, something like that. Now we can animate the null object's rotation. So for that, press R, let's add a keyframe. And in the beginning, I'm going to set this value to something like negative 15. Now it's completely up to you can just make it negative 30 or 45, however you want. Now we can probably zoom in and I'm going to move the indicator to somewhere around one and a half second something like that now i'm going to set this value to 15 after this let's move one and a half second ahead so somewhere around three i'm going to just copy the first keyframe and just paste it so here you can see we have this complete one animation now we can select all the keyframes press f9 or you can right click go to keyframe assistant easy is them now select all the keyframes let's go to the graph editor and if your graph looks different then make sure you are using the speed graph not the value graph after that, you can select all the endpoints and I'm going to make the graph to look something like this. And now you can see we have this very nice animation. Perfect. Now, I don't want this animation to stop. I want this to keep on going. So for that, we can add an expression. So hold down the Alt key or Option key on Mac and just click on the stopwatch. After that, you can type your expression over here. So just simply type loop out. And now if I play back, you can see that the animation will keep on going and we can add some animation to the scale as well so for that let's select this press s let's add a keyframe for scale and in the beginning i'm going to lower down its value to something like 70 and after that let's move to somewhere around two and a half second so somewhere around here let's add another keyframe and i'm going to increase its value so let's make it something like 100 now we can move again two and a half seconds so somewhere around five seconds we can just simply copy this first keyframe and just paste it now we can select these keyframes and easy is them as well let's go to the graph and i'm going to change these one as well so let's select this and i'm going to just make them to look something like that so here you can see we have this animation now if i play back you can see we have our text and it's scaling as well perfect now if you want to make them little bit fast then you can select the keyframes hold on the alt key and just select the last keyframe and just then move the keyframe to make them faster or slower however you want for this one we can just place it over here so i think this is looking fine also let's add the loop out expression to this as well so hold on the alt key and click on this stopwatch then just simply type loop out perfect now our scaling and the rotation animation will keep on going something like that so we are pretty much done with this. Now let's go back to the main comp and we can quickly drag our text composition like this. And on this one, we are going to apply fill effect. So let's search for fill and let's drag it over here because we are going to change the color. Now in order to create that effect, we are going to duplicate this layer a bunch of different times with different scale so that we can have some offset in the scales. 
and for that we are going to use expression so first we will begin by creating a control layer so for that you can right click new and you can add an adjustment layer and on this one we are going to apply a slider control so let's search for slider control and let's drag it onto this and i'm going to call this one factor so you can just simply perfect now i'm going to select the text layer and let's press s and i'm going to add an expression to this so for that you can hold on the alt key and just click on this stopwatch to add an expression area now in order to type the expression we are going to first select this adjustment layer now i'm going to click on this lock icon so that this will stay over here even if we select this layer now let's select this and I'm going to type my expression. So first we are going to create a variable called x. So x and its value will be equal to this slider which we have over here. So let's pick whip and just select this slider. Perfect. Now let me just quickly add some space. Now on the next line we are going to add our second variable which is going to be our scale. So for that let's type s and its value will be 100. So the 100 percent of scale plus i'm going to add something which will define the increment that we want on all of these layers so this plus will be index into this value x now what this means that the scale value of all of these layers which will be after this will be 100 which is default value plus index now index is the position of this layer so you can see that over here it says 2 so it will be 100 plus 2 into this factor which we have over here now this factor will help us to scale these layers and just align them however we want so we are going to use this one so once you're done with this we are going to create an array because scale is an array so for that you can just create square brackets and then type s comma s perfect and it will show you an error because we forget to add the semicolon over here and once you add this you can see that the error is gone now we have added our expression so now we are done with the expression and our next step is to duplicate this layer but before that let's quickly unlock this and also i want to have the colorful text so for that we can have fill effect on all of these layers but i don't want to change the fill effect onto each layer so for that we can easily create a controller on this layer so that we can change the color from here only so for that you can just search for color control and just simply drag it onto this layer now i want five different copies of it because we want five colors so let's select this press ctrl d five times so here you can see we have five copies now i'm going to select this layer and we are going to create five copies of this as well so we have this one so two three four five so now you can see we have five copies over here as well now i'm going to link their fill effect which is over here to these colors so that we can just change them at once let me just quickly show you how to do that now we can select all of these layers and let's search for color and we can easily link them to these color controls so let me just show you how to do that so you can just go to one of these color layer and just hold on the control key and click on the stopwatch after that just simply pick whip and just select the first color which we have over here like this now in the same way you can connect the second controller so you can just go to this hold on the control key click on the stopwatch and just pick whip the second color control and in the same way let's select the third one so let's do this and just select the third one and just do this for all of the five color controls so here you can see we have linked all of these colors to this now we can probably close this up so now we can easily control the colors from here and you can see that we have this slider control now if i start increasing it you can see that we are able to see all of these duplicates like this and you can easily change their color so i'm going to just make this white and we can select the second one and just randomly pick whatever colors you want like this and you can see that all of the colors have been applied like this and this factor will control how much scale you want so you can see that we can just do however we want and the best thing is that now all you have to do is just simply duplicate these layers bunch of different times to create the effect so let me just quickly show you how to do that so you can select all of these layers now you can press ctrl d to duplicate them after that just simply move them down and i'm going to quickly change their color so let's make this pink and here you can see we have created a bunch of different copies now you can select all of these layers and press ctrl d and just simply move them to the bottom like that so here you can see we have added more copies and you can see that all of them are animated now let me just quickly change their colors so we are going to add some nice colors to them 
So here you can see we have changed all of these colors. Now you can also play around with the factor to make them smaller or larger, however you want. So let's set this to something like that. Now we can add more copies of it. So after that, let's select this and let's select this last one and press Ctrl D and I'm going to just move them to the bottom like that so here you can see we have filled all of these layers now you can see that this is looking very flat so we can add some drop shadow to this so again we can select the top layer and on this one let's search for drop shadow and let's drag it over here and let's tweak a couple of these properties so first opacity i'm going to set this to 100 rest of the things will remain same softness i'm going to set this to something like 50 so now you can see we have this very nice soft shadow. Now I want to add the drop shadow to all of these layers as well, but I don't want to change their values individually. And for that, we can do this thing. So just simply select this drop shadow. After that, go to edit from here, select this copy with relative property links. And after that, just select this second layer and just go down to this bottom one and just hold on the shift key to select all of these layers. Now you can press control V or just go to edit and paste. Now you can see that it will add drop shadow to all of these layers and the best thing is that you can easily control them only using this single layer you don't have to go to individual layer so you can see that we have this layer and if i set this to zero you can see that all of the drop shadows will be set to zero so in this way you can create these property links to easily control them on single effect now here you can see we have our animation now if i play back you can see that all of these are moving at once but we want to have a little bit of offset so for that you can go to the very beginning after that just select the top layer and you can go down hold on the shift key to select the bottom one now we are going to let's zoom in and we are going to move one frame forward now you can hold on the alt key and you can press the right square bracket to trim all of these layers and while these layers are selected you can go to animation and go to keyframe assistant and from here select the sequence layer after that just simply click ok you can see that all of these layers will be aligned now you can just simply click and drag their endpoints something like that now here you can see we have all of these layers now you can just move a little bit ahead and let's select all of them and let's make them forward so now you can see that we have added some offset and if i play back you can see that all of these animations are already applied and you can see that this pattern is looking very nice and in this way you can create these kind of animations now if you want you can play around with the colors you can just change them to whatever you want all you have to do is just simply select this adjustment layer and from here you can just change whatever colors you want also you can play around with the factor if you want to make them smaller something like this or you can just make them larger it all depends upon you so this is how you can create these kind of animations and the best thing is that if you want to change the text all you have to do is just go inside the composition and after that you can type whatever you want and if you go back you can see that it will automatically update the text and you can see that we have all the animations already applied so in this way you can create these kind of animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.